Ooh, baby, it's been a minute since I've had a controversial topic to discuss with you guys, and I'm excited to go ahead and do it today. And I'm gonna need you to get involved. Today I wanna to talk about benzos, benzodiazepines, things such as Ativan, Clonopin, Xanax, and there of course are other ones that, uh, that have generic versions as well. I wanna talk about whether or not you can safely take a benzo every day for depression and anxiety long term. Now some people have really strong opinions on this, really strong opinions, and that's good. Uh, whether or not you have strong opinions based on information you've learned, whether you're a scholar, whether you're an MD, whether you just have personal experiences, I would love it if you shared it in the comments below. That's half the magic of this channel is learning from you guys and having other people who watch this video learn from you guys in the comments. The only thing I ask is that you keep it friendly and respectful all but passionate. A little backstory on me, and I'm gonna make it really, really short, and I will have it pertain to benzodiazepines. I have a history of depression and anxiety, but I'd say I'm more anxious with depression than I am so much depressed with anxiety. Uh, panic attacks, uh, tightness in the chest, obsessive thoughts, race brains, physical symptoms of anxiety, big part of my story. And one of the most damning things about having anxiety and long-term mood disorder problems is that you feel like most of the therapies, treatments, and things you try to do to get better they, they tend to require time. And sometimes when you're really uncomfortable, as you know, or you, you might likely know, you don't necessarily feel like you have time. You just, you need to feel better soon. You need to feel better fast. And I never really found that. When I first had my breakdown and I was suffering from severe uh, insomnia, severe anxiety, and, and just dangerous depression, I was prescribed Ativan on top of a bunch of other medications. And I remember back then when I took Ativan, not a whole lot happened. I felt a little bit drugged, a little bit sedated, uh, more flattened out. But I wouldn't even say I felt that much better so much as I didn't think I would panic per se, but I never really liked how it felt. And so I probably used it in the course of the first year or two uh, of dealing with severe mood disorder, maybe like five or 10 times, really small, small dose. And I thought nothing else of benzos. And then I remember when I was doing RTMS uh, for treatment, which is like the little cousin of shock therapy, the psychiatrist who was treating me asked me if I ever considered taking benzos, and I said, oh, well, I have one as needed, because my understanding was benzos were not safe to take every day. You just take them when you're in a really bad pinch, and he goes, well, how about trying to take a benzo every day? And I was offended. Like, this psychiatrist down in Corvallis, Oregon, running my RTMS, thought maybe what I needed was a daily benzodiazepine, and I thought he was crazy, because everything I'd read and heard about benzos was inherently negative for that sort of thing. And so I brushed it off, told him that made me really uncomfortable, and since my only experience with benzos had been the lorazepam, which is the generic form of Ativan, I wasn't even like, that didn't even sound like a turn on. I mean, I was just like horribly depressed and anxious, desperate for an answer, but I wasn't about to take a benzo every day, and then what, get addicted to that and deal with withdrawals, right? And so I never went back to it. Fast forward some years, I overcame the worst part of my depression and my anxiety, but now I have rapid cycling, irregular bipolar 2 type of, of um, symptoms. That's where I do okay for a couple weeks, do real poorly for two or three or four weeks. Anxiety and depression jump up and down, up and down. And so, so my primary care doc who manages my mental health along with my psychiatrist, they decided I should try clonopin which was another benzo. And I get nervous trying anything for the first time, like genuinely nervous. I'm just always afraid that it's gonna make things worse. And so I didn't really take it for the first month I had it prescribed. I was prescribed 0.5 tablets of clonopin. I actually have the generic form, clonazepam. And it just sat with me for like a month. And I cracked one in half one particularly upsetting morning where my anxiety was really bad and obsessive feelings were really bad and I was just struggling. And I took it and I, my heart started pounding when I took it. So I was like, oh God, oh God, I swallowed. What if it makes it worse? That's what she said. Not now, bad timing, I'm sorry. But much to my surprise, after it settled into my system, I had one of the more normal feelings come over me that I've experienced in a really long time. Now normal is all relative, it's all subjective, but it was a good feeling. Not a euphoric feeling, not a buzzed feeling, not a drugged feeling, but I just felt okay. And I had never taken a pill or any medication or, or done any treatment that instantly made me feel okay. And it really, really sparked my curiosity about benzos. So I ended up taking it after that for like two weeks straight, maybe almost two and a half weeks straight, 0.25 to 0.5 a day, maybe like 0.25 in the morning, 0.25 at night. And after about, I'd say 17, 18 days, I started to get worried. I was like, oh shit, this is working really well. I feel like I just found the, the ticket, the golden goose to my mental health problems because 
I'd never taken something that normalized me so fast. I mean, suddenly I wasn't obsessing. Suddenly my chest wasn't so tight that it felt like I couldn't breathe. Suddenly I was sleeping better and I didn't have all of these symptoms, symptoms of anxiety. But on top of that, I was definitely improving my depression symptoms as well. So I got really attracted to it, but weary for, because of everything I heard. And so I went to my psychiatrist and I said, listen, I've been taking it every day, low dose for like 15, 20 days. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I wish this were a viable option to do it a long term. I've never taken something that made me feel so okay. And he was like, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, and he doesn't want me taking it any more than twice a week, is what he says. Two days out of the seven, take your, your clonazepam. See, his big fear is that I will become physically dependent. I will end up needing to take more and more in order to achieve the same effect. And on top of that, if I ever come off, I could deal with rebound anxiety, rebound depression, and other very uncomfortable side effects that might just be unbearable, you know, and he doesn't want me to go there. He wants me to use the tools I have in my mental health toolbox, for lack of less corny words, uh, and other coping strategies, healthy, less pharmaceutical ones, to, to be the, the mainstay of my life. And then clonazepam be the supplementary part of my treatment. And I'm on board with that. And so I stopped taking it every day and I did just fine. And now I'm taking it as needed and it's definitely something that I feel is pretty awesome that I've found. But I've met people, it's after that I took to the message boards and I started reading and apparently there are lots of people that take it every single day and they stay low dose and they say it makes an incredible uh, impact on their life and it's the only thing that helped. I know other people that talk about it being the worst thing that ever happened to them was finding it. And so I guess at this point I just want to ask you, what are your thoughts on long-term benzo use? Do you think it should only be as needed once or twice a week based on the potentials for physical dependency, psychological, emotional dependency, um, drug-seeking behavior, stuff like that? Some people can't stand the idea of needing something to feel better. I used to be one of those people. It was an ego, pride-based thing. I mean, I want to work the tools that I have and I want to make as much progress as I can naturally, of course. That's still a big turn-on to me but I don't need to brave it out and suffer if I don't have to. And so for me, I've decided I'm gonna strike that balance of taking it once or twice a week as needed. Um, I, I think that is definitely the safer route. But I'd like to know what you think. Did you take it long term or do you take it long term and it doesn't work? I know some of you have already shared that you do. Uh, do you take it as needed? Do you think no one should ever take it? If not, why? Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. Remember to consult your doctor. Remember that I'm not a medical health professional. I'm just an expert at my own life. And I really wanted to share that with you because it's tempting. It's tempting to wake up and just take that. There's like the safety that comes over you. When I, when I put it in my mouth, I'm like, oh, I know today's gonna be okay. And as someone who suffered from depression and anxiety, severe at that and suicidality, there's been many a days where I opened my eyes and I didn't know if I was gonna be alive when I hit the bed because I was so afraid of the pain I might be in. So uh, it's one of those interesting things. And I think it's worth discussing. Be safe. Be careful. I look forward to reading your comments. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.